Hello chess lovers, Solen here with another fantastic game. In 1975 in Baku, Ukrainian Grandmaster Oleg Romanishin gave a clock simul against 16 of the participating juniors. He lost two games both to candidate masters. One of them was future world chess champion Gary Kasparov. In this video we are going to cover that game. Romanishin had white pieces and he opened up with birds opening f4. Kasparov, who at the time was only 12, answered with d5. This is the most common response. The game can take the character of dash defense with colors reversed. Knight f3, knight f6, e3, bishop g4, b3, white is preparing to fianc to the queenside bishop, which will then put a useful pressure on black's kingside. In some cases, white is then exchanging the light squared bishop with this knight, of course, if black allows. Then is castling king side, is putting the knight on e5, rook f3, rook g3, or rook h3, queen h5, and is unleashing a ferocious attack. Knight bd7 by Kasparov, bishop b2, c6, bishop e2, queen c7, white castled king side, and bishop takes f3. Black is first removing white knight and then is going for e5. And soon we will see that this type of setup is really very effective when fighting against birds opening. First Kasparov exchanged the light squared bishop and then went for e5 thrust, which will now allow him to activate his pieces. d3 by Romanishin, he sticks to this classical setup but looks like that this is not a good idea. Stockfish suggests d4. If he takes f4 then he takes f4 and if castling queenside then c4. Instead in the game we see d3. Bishop d6. Already black wants to win a pawn, that's why g3 was made, but this is weakening the king side. Black castled queen side, so we have opposite side castlings, and this can lead to a very sharp battle. Usually in these type of positions, the players are throwing all their anger at opponent's king. B takes c4, but let's take a look what if d takes c4. Then black can emphasize the vulnerability of this diagonal. If queen e2, then e takes f4. If here, then rook e8, and this pawn is going to drop. Bishop c1 can't be played because of this bishop d4. And that's why in the game b takes c4 was made, and there comes h5. Gradually, black's attack is becoming very scary. White has to be very careful, yes. Finally, white is completing the development and is connecting the rooks, but it's too late. White's position looks very dangerous. It takes f4 and at this point you can pause the video and try to find Kasparov's next move. Ready? Well, I think that this is a move which is pretty easy to find. There comes g5. This move is allowing black to expose white king further. Knight e4. Well, if f takes g5, then bishop takes g3 can follow. Black can sacrifice this knight. And if g takes f6, then rook g8, and this white king cannot survive. If bishop g2, then queen b6 is winning. And in the game after g5, we see knight e4, and an exchange of knights on e4 followed. Rook h g8, e5, bishop c5, check king g2, g takes f4. At this point, Romanishin tried to keep the king side closed with g4, but this didn't help him. There we have it, Kasparov boldly won the pawn on e5. The thing is that, after queen f5 check, he should be ready to sacrifice the knight, something which he made, you know, he covered his king with the queen. Now if, for example, queen takes e5, then rook takes g4 can allow black to win the game. If here, then queen g3 check, and then checkmate will appear on the board. In the game after queen d7, we see an exchange of queens on d7. King h3, white is hopelessly trying to put a resistance, but there is no hope. Hitting both on c4 and also the rook wants to intrude inside opponent's camp. There we have it, rook d3. Rook a c1, knight d7. The bishop was blocking the f pawn's path and once it retreated, this time f5 followed. King h4. Bishop e7 check, king h5, rook g5 check. Uh, in chess based databases, 
this game goes up to a check made uh, but uh, according to Kasparov's book fighting chess my game said career at this point Roman Ishin resigned uh, according to databases this is how the game ended rook d6 check followed the knight f8 check and finally after king h8 black announced a checkmate uh, all in all this was a perfect game by Kasparov which I hope that you enjoyed greatly a touch of a genius you know every move was deeply calculated and confidently made uh, in the end a chess puzzle for you are the task is to win with the black pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section feel free to check out my early uploads as well we'll see you in my next video take care